Go nuts for Nazim Hussain. Thank you. So good to be here. And I can't stand Hollywood action movies because they always have the same types of guys playing all of the bad dudes in all of the movies, right? Like a standard scene from one of these hostage taker terrorist movies is always like, hey Mustafa, let the hostages go and we can sort this out. And the standard response from this ugly, sweaty Arab man that they always choose to cast is always like, Yannick, no! We shall not let the hostages go until the whole of America becomes Muslim or the White House becomes, I don't know, like a kebab van or something. <laughs> Yes, death to America. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? They should mix it up a little bit, you know? Chuck an Indian in there instead. See how he goes. You know, Raj. Raj, let the hostages go now or we're coming in. <sighs> Sir, please remain calm. <laughs> Sir, so, I'm bringing up your account details now. Sir, don't be so rude. Sir, don't be rude. Sir, I'm going to have to call my supervisor. <laughs> boss, boss, I have a difficult customer on the phone. Yeah, he's giving me very high stress levels. Yeah, okay, I will deal with it, okay. No, sir, no, sir, no. We shall not let the hostages go until you and your country <laughs> stop hanging up on us. <laughs> All we want to do is give you and your country cheap international rates, you know, trying to call the UK, USA, New Zealand. Hello, sir. Hello. So I've been, I've been traveling around a bit. I recently went to a country town in Victoria called Maui. Uh, has anyone here been to Maui before? On purpose? No? Oh, I, went to this, I went to this shop in Maui, and as soon as I walked into the shop, no joke, the guy behind the counter looked at me and he said, my mate, you don't happen to be one of them Muslims, do you, mate? I said, yeah, I am. And he goes, oh, I knew it, mate. Oh, I knew it, because Muslims are coming to invade Australia, mate. Al-Qaeda's coming to invade Australia, mate. Al-Qaeda is coming to invade Maui, mate. They're going to drop bombs on Maui, mate. They're going to make our women wear the towel and the burqa on their head, mate. Bye-bye democracy, mate. Hello, Sharia law. Bye-bye carols by candlelight. Hello, beheadings by moonlight. <laughs> Dude, just relax. No one's coming to Maui. <laughs> what you seriously think, Al Qaeda, the world's most feared terrorist organization, would plan their next terrorist attack in, in Maui? <laughs> what, what, you think this sort of thing would happen at an Al Qaeda board meeting? Yeah, Osama and gentlemen, after the success of the Twin Towers in 2001, we must now set our sights on an even greater target. <laughs> After much research, I give you the Moe Hotel. <laughs> Guaranteed to put us on the map of Moe. It's like, all right, mate, I get your point. You don't need to do your drama acting inside of my shop, mate. Sorry about the generalization. Undo, control Z. I just walked out of the shop. I was just shocked at the blatant racism. I just, I just called my friend to tell him about it. I was like, hey, Osama. <laughs> he did not suspect a thing. <laughs> yes, death to America. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. My name's Nazim Hussain. Thank you. Nazim Hussain.